On Tuesday morning, the day after Her Late Majesty's funeral, Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield addressed the public backlash they've received after being pictured in Westminster Hall to see the Queen lying in state while avoiding the long queues. The This Morning hosts reiterated ITV's stance on the issue, insisting they were there in a professional capacity alongside hundreds of accredited journalists. However, this didn't wash with the likes of GB News host Dan Witten who ranted at the pair's behavior and subsequent explanation. On his Tuesday evening show on GB News, Witten began, privileged ITV presenters, Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield, have hit back at claims they skipped the queue to see the Queen lying in state after a fierce and completely understandable public backlash. Today, this morning ran a video of a breathlessly remorseful Holly doing her best to explain what happened in the viral clip from Friday, claiming they were given permission along hundreds of accredited broadcasters and journalists. A clip from this morning then played out, in which Holly explained, like hundreds of accredited broadcasters and journalists, we were given official permission to access the hall. It was strictly for the purposes of reporting on the event for millions of people in the UK who haven't been able to visit Westminster in person. Felt cheated. Eamon Holmes fumes at beautiful moment ruined at Queen funeral Eamon Holmes reflected on a moment of Queen Elizabeth II's funeral which left him feeling cheated as he talked about the initially beautiful part of the service on Tuesday's GB News. Read more here. The rules were we would be quickly escorted around the edges to a platform at the back. In contrast, those paying respects walked around a carpeted area beside the coffin and were given time to pause. Dan smirked as the camera returned to him before he went on, OK, so Holly, the Queen's coffin was only visible if you were walking on a carpet and you did it all for the millions who couldn't list Westminster? OK, got it. If only there was a live stream going 24-7, he sarcastically added before encouraging the rest of the clip to play out. Holly could be heard saying, None of the journalists or broadcasters there took anyone's place in the queue and no one passed by the Queen. We, of course, respected those rules, however, we realize it may have looked like something else. Therefore, we, totally understand the reaction. Please know, that we would never dump a queue. A video of Holly and Philip describing the experience as profound then played out as they reflected on seeing the Queen lying in state. But Dan remained unconvinced by the This Morning Pair's defense, hitting back, Look, as far as I'm concerned, this wasn't a piece of journalism. I haven't seen a sign of any crew and that shaky camera at the end looked like it was some kind of an afterthought on an iPhone. Susanna Reid on this morning's sister show Good Morning Britain, an esteemed journalist, was able to queue up for hours, he added. Dan's scathing take concluded as he blasted, these two, they always want to blame someone else, look at their response to their energy bills competition controversy where they sniped at internet trolls and then doubled down. What they should have done is held their hands up and said, we skipped the queue. It was a mistake. The controversy surrounding Holly and Philip's presence at Westminster Hall has reportedly left the pair distraught, with ITV bosses even fearing Holly may quit the show as a result. A source told the Mail Online, Philip and Holly are dumbstruck at the level of anger they've received in the past few days. They felt ITV should have made it clearer, right away, that it was part of a broadcast. That's the main reason they wanted something to be said on Saturday, when this morning issued a statement, and why they were insistent the show needed to address it head-on on Tuesday. Holly, in particular, has been left totally distraught by this. 
she's been in floods of tears at some of the things she's been called and of the behavior she's been accused of. Producers and staff at This Morning are rallying round. They are a close-knit team but there is a concern at how it has impacted Don Holly and has left many wondering if it's pushed her close to the exit, the source concluded. Tonight with Dan Witten airs Sunday to Thursday at 9pm on GB News.